Well, back again. I'm looking this way. All that right over there. I'm hoping to take and have some something growing there one day. I'm just gonna have to keep on bush hogging it. Taking that nice green stuff, let it fall to the ground, throw the nitrogen back in the ground again, and so forth. And that's part of my area. On back down in there also. Well, three days ago, we had it added two little goats to our little collection of animals. Put them in here with the chickens. And then we got set up, really. But, uh, they got all that big area there to graze in. And, oh, man. Still the chickens over there drinking their water. They got their own water supply, but no, maybe they're not. Maybe just over there. I don't know. Who knows? So, we're going to try to see how we do, how the goats do. So they're eating along. I was a little worried about them drinking water. Because they are still kind of young, but old enough to be winged, or they were winged. And uh, that one right there did take and get a sip of water finally. Still a little skittish of me, me and the family. And, but I think they're going to, as they've grown used to the chickens, I think they're going to grow used to us too. Well, this is my LS440 XR compact tractor. I will have to say, I have been very happy with it. I've had no issues other than I keep bending and having to replace these guys. Hopefully this set here that I just got will last a, last a lot longer. It has been a very good tractor. I have enjoyed using it and so forth. I wished I would have got one a little bigger, the next size up maybe. But uh, the thing about it is, you got your clutch here, you got your forward and reverse. I don't know if you can see all the numbers, one through four, which when I'm running the bush hog, I generally stay in first number one low all because I got stumps out here too and I don't want to have to replace too many blades if possible or tear up my PTO that's dirty it's been working but that's what it's about unfortunately I have no place to put it out of the weather actually I need the weather to wash it uh, you got your regular gears, your lift capacities, your uh, hydraulic arms, your fast and slow rabbit and what have you. The thing about this tractor is it has a gas pedal as well as a regular throttle. Your foot gets tired. Pushing the gas pedal, you just crank this up to the speed you want, and you're good to go. That I like. I don't like these pedals where you go from this pedal forward to this pedal backwards. So this is your brake, dual brakes. Slide that in to lock them. I keep it unlocked because I might have to do one way or the other. Swing one way or the other is what I'm really referring to. Uh, I took the pins out of that so I could put my t handy tools as I needed. You know, my shovel, got to dig, check the ground. Fish pitchfork, so whenever I want to take a uh, gather up some grass and a bush hog for the chickens. Uh, the tractor came with this right here. 
tobacco. It's all part of the. It was part of the package. But after I got it here and I did what a little bit of what I wanted to do, actually I realized this is actually too weak for what I want to do. There's nothing I can do about it. It's the biggest thing I had. It's the only thing I can afford at the time. Uh, so I just have to take it easy and be careful. But it has been a good little backhoe. I cannot argue with it at all. But since then, I picked up six foot disc. And the way I'm thinking about gardening, and farming, and everything, I'm, I don't know if that's worth the money now. Well, it is worth the money to me until I actually do farm and what have you. This is the bush hog I put on that 440 tractor right there. The Hardy 1072. It's been a good bush hog, but it you just can't be hitting stumps. <laughs> it, I've had to put two blades on it because of them. And there's probably one that I might have hit. And there's a stump right there, a stump right there. What it is, see, all that back there to the high trees, I had clear cut. I got rid of all the trees so I could set up and try to do some farming. Uh, that high brush right there is a drainage, land drainage type, you know, help keep the land dry. Forget about the old international there, it don't work. But to the high trees, I got land right on, up, just up to the other side of them high trees. And I clear cut every bit of it so I could maybe farm it. For the last four or five years, I've been bush hogging it. And there's some more stumps, stumps. I gotta dig them up one day, but uh, this year, the uh, disc is actually going through them, and busting them up. They're about to ride out. So that's a good thing. And that was about gone all together. So in the meantime, while I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing, I decided to take me some corn, some feed corn, and plant, get a hold of some feed corn plant. And I got me some feed corn out here that's growing. Lord, we need the rain. So this, this corn will really get on up. But uh, it's not looking bad. There's a whole bunch that got spilt. That came, volunteers that came up. We dropped a bunch of it. But yeah. So anyhow. I started this way and then I realized that. God didn't say disturb the ground. He said to cover it. And so what I would love to do is get a hold of a, a sea planter. And just go right through there and and uh, no-till drill type planting and plant all that full of corn or something. But that's where we're at here there on Perry's farm. We have no clue what we're doing. We're just trying to do it right. There's my uh, pile of wood chippings, some fill sand, dirt, just to fill in some low spaces. Or when I dig up a stump, I can at least put some dirt back in place. You never have the amount of dirt that you took out to put back into a hole that you dug, it seems like. But that'll be all for Perry's Farm. Thank you for watching.